You did make me promise that I wouldn't write something really soppy, so I have tried my best. But I did have to make it sound like I actually liked you, so... <laughs> I have a lot of friends here from different parts of my life, and they will all testify that I could not have asked for a more beautiful and amazing bride that you have. You make me a better person. You make me stronger, kinder, and more driven. You have elevated the bar for me since we met, and you continue to encourage me upwards. And you truly are my best friend, and now I get to call you my wife. I love you, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. So let's raise a glass for you guys and for my beautiful wife. gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Harry and Casimira, to acknowledge the bond that exists between them. Harry and Casimira wish to confirm their union of love publicly. This happy and memorable occasion is only possible because of the presence of all of you here today. So thank you for being here on this wonderful day and wonderful occasion. We'd like to just pause for a moment and reflect and remember the people who can't be here with us today. Beth and Tom Peel, Mary and Brian Hayward, Mark and Maureen Fernley and Tom Brown. In front of all your friends and family gathered here today, do you take Casimira to be your wife? I do. Casimira, in front of all your friends and family gathered here today, do you take Harry to be your husband? I do. May these rings represent your eternal love and the promises you have made here today. Let them be a symbol of your unbreakable bond and this new beginning of your life together. Your love has now been strengthened by the promises you've made here today and the rings you've exchanged. From this day onwards, may your home be filled with happiness and laughter. May you find challenge and satisfaction, humour and insight, love and wisdom in each other. May you always feel that what you have with each other is enough. You may now kiss the bride. Now, if everyone would please be upstanding once again for the happy couple as they begin their journey together as Mr. and Mrs. Fernley Brown.
Sasha met Harry. I have been told that you were both working backstage one day. There was a trip, a fall, and a catch. And here we are. And I'm very happy that Harry is the one you are here with today. The other thing that I like about Harry is he clearly has great taste, as from all the books on the shelf of life's great library, he chose you to spend his time with. Life is an open story, an open book, and you are its authors. In the end, carry on writing whatever you're writing now. I would like you to raise a glass and join me in a toast to Kasha and Harry. You found in Kasha a person that brings out best in you. You mentioned her a minute ago. It's entirely true. The love, compassion, and often frank opinions you have for one another just take you to the top. It's, it's beautiful. You've built a relationship that's not only beautiful, but one that's grounded in respect, trust, and compassion for one another. I think you're an inspiration to me, a lot of people here, but both of you in your each unique way. Life isn't always simple. You will have difficult days, you'll have easy days, but two of you, you'll, be, you'll get through it. Cheers. Cheers.